For some people, somewhere could feel like watching paint dry or watching it behind the scenes without a clear aim. Both are correct. The film is the definition of a slow burn, but that's what makes it good. Spoilers ahead. At face value, this movie is boring and dull. I agree, but it wouldn't make sense if it were an action-packed, fun film. Somewhere is about this man and his relationship with his daughter, his career, and the city. LA plays a big role here. It shows the vastness of it, but also how empty it gets. There are so many things to do that if you have the choice to do any of them, you won't do anything. It's not the city's fault, but the protagonist's. Like John Green said in one of his possibly already deleted TikToks, when the movie The Fault in Our Stars came out, he got invited to fancy dinners, fancy places, fancy hotels, enjoyed the very best fame had to offer. And he said that he was indeed living the dream. It truly was the dream, but not his dream. He was already living his dream. His dream was living with his family in Indiana and writing on his MacBook on a chair. The lifestyle Hollywood offers is lavish and has its perks. The film somewhere doesn't try to hide that. You get to stay in the best places and have a consort of people at your disposal. The world is your oyster. But when the noise is over, you realize you're just sleeping in some hotel bed by yourself. In the movie, Johnny has so many women who throw themselves at him that even when he's about to have sex with one, he just falls asleep like he was watching a late show or something. Or he falls asleep watching some twins pole dancing for him. Too much of a good thing isn't good anymore. That's what Somewhere is about. It needs to feel slow and boring because that's how Johnny is feeling. Even the opening shot is just a repetition. It's Johnny literally running or well driving around in circles for a solid couple of minutes by the way and that's what he does for most of the movie and it's implied that that's what he's been doing for a while. A constant cycle of going to press junkets, making movies, going to bed with a random girl that you won't remember in a week. This cycle is disrupted when his daughter has to stay with him for longer than she regularly does. He's forced to live in a different reality, and he sees that there's more to life than driving around in circles with a Ferrari. The closing sequence is open to interpretation, but how I see it is that Johnny drove away from Los Angeles in the same car we see him driving in circles in the opening shot, and then gets out of the car in the middle of nowhere and starts walking. In a way, he was leaving quote unquote somewhere, meaning LA, and then he had to go to nowhere to actually be somewhere. It's kind of confusing, I know. It's a slow burning piece of cinematic poetry. I don't judge you if you don't like it, trust me. It's fair, but this film is as raw as it gets in portraying a city and a man whose life is deeply intertwined with it. If you haven't seen it, just try living the moment while you watch it. Appreciate the little details. It's not a movie to watch when you're bored. It's a movie to remind us how loneliness has different ways of manifesting itself. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.